Hi guys, hi guys. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna start now. So this is just a little video I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna see how it goes and how the responses are. I'm gonna make some more. Um, this one is just basically a haul about some products that I've been recently collecting um, because I'm trying a keto diet. So, and uh, you know, basically some health food stuff. So I'm gonna show some of them to you and hopefully most of them to you in the same batch and if not then I can do a second part and I can do continuation and you guys can share if you guys can also tell me if you're using the same or similar products or you know the pros and cons stuff like that so um, in the keto I'm sure you know what keto is keto diet and the first thing I got my hands on was um, you know the rave I jumped on the one bag and got uh, the MCT oils and uh, this is one of my first ones that I bought. Actually, it was this one. And uh, I'm sure you kind, of, most of you know this brand. Uh, I'm still not sure if I'm achieving the same kind of mental and amplified energy that it says. I don't know. Everyone's different. Then I came across this one, and I'm gonna see how this one works. So. Um, I kind of find it better, but I'm not sure. It's too early to say something about that. Okay, so what else? Um, yeah, other stuff that I learned, some other amazing oils. These are like more like medicinal or you could like top them up with your um, salads. And this one can go also in baking, I'm assuming. Um, so there are a lot of health benefits for the Brazilian nut oil. Could, I believe also apply this on your hair. And again, Sasha Inchi oil, amazing omega oils. And then everyone, I guess everyone knows about the um, organic uh, chia oil, liquid chia oil. So those are another, you know, addition to the family. And of course, you cannot do, I mean, this is a staple, right? Like either this or this was my first one that I had purchased and I love this one it is the most amazing thing I have even experienced putting on my hair and my nails my skin um you know on my elbows my knees I am in love with this one and uh it's sad that I have not been using it on my skin as much because I for, you know keep forgetting it and keep it in the kitchen but this should be right next to my bedside as well so yeah this is amazing Another thing that I got crazy about was when I was collecting a few products from Dr. Berg's, I think. But a few things I kind of found helpful was one of this electrolyte um, powder. So that's great. And my favorite, um, this one, the organic um, wheatgrass. Oh, yeah, another product from the same company in the beginning when I was getting into it. One of my first times that I purchased, um, you know, grass-fed um, ghee. It was from this company, but, like, I don't care. I can buy any, but, you know. it. The nice thing about, I, I didn't get that funky smell or taste. It almost tastes like butter, so, you know, I didn't mind. And continuing, this is, again, one of my favorites. I think it's a win-win. I like it, in fact, more than the latest um, meal replacement one. I'll just show you that in a second. Okay. Uh, here you are, big boy. Okay. So, tell me, guys, are you guys taking this one, any one of you? And what are your thoughts? Um, also, have you guys tried baking with this one? Like, I tried to experiment something, but not with this powder. I got separate stuff. Um, I looked on some videos and recipes online to make um, the fat bombs and brownies with avocados. So I try to, like, keep avocados in handy pretty much all the time. And um, some baking goods that I... I, I, you know, I really liked this baking powder to begin with. I know, I'm sorry, I'm not going in random order, but um, this guy I used um, when I was trying to make those brownies. Actually, I wish I had used this earlier because I had used the cacao instead. Like, there you are. 
And it was good, but it was too bitter. And I should have added more melted chocolate, which I didn't have at the time, but I finally purchased it and now I have it. And I have the unsweetened um, version. And I try to have a cup of this, I mean a water, and mix a teaspoon of this every day or every morning since then. And um, it's too early, I guess, to see any benefits. But one thing I do feel like my skin is getting so nice with this. So, like, that's one thing. And this baby just came in today. So, um, I don't know if you guys are into... Um, how do I put this? Um, herbal uh, supplements and stuff that actually increase your metabolism and, you know, immunity. So, oh, yeah, coming back to the baking stuff, right? Okay, baking. Um, this is new to my family over here. And then I have, I, as you can see, I haven't even opened this one, uh, which I, I intend to make some flatbread or something out of it one day. And another thing that I just bought, I think, very recently is this i need to know if you guys know some nice recipes which are extremely low carb and at the same time very keto friendly on this do let me know guys and i have tried this um making the famous um keto microwave bread and the other one um the taste is so much better i like it but you have to use a really little amount or have very little because it's basically you're having almond guys and you can go over your calories or your macros um okay let me put this out for a sec these are another treasures that i found um these are called the jungle peanuts and i'm sure the few a lot of the people don't know about it and some of you guys probably know these are like really amazing and very high in protein and they're from the Amazon jungle so they're not like the regular peanuts they even don't even look like the regular peanuts let me show you one or two of these um, they come in a special seed shell and then I don't know it's a whole process so you see how they look like and they're pretty filling like you can have three or four and then you're good to go like you want you'll feel full like you know for a couple of hours everyone's different though okay um of course i'm not doing any disclaimer for any brand or you know all of that i'm just showing you all my stuff here not promoting any brand this is just what i collect so far and i'm enjoying it so i'm just sharing that with you guys wanted to make that clear before i forget another new baby of mine Oh, this is so good. I wish I had picked up the other version, uh, which was sugar-free. Luckily, this one doesn't have much sugar either. But it's so amazing. And somewhere, I think it was one of the YouTube videos maybe, I saw and learned that if you're making like a keto bomb, anything with peanut butter, this is a greater, better substitute because it lets something to do with absorption or something better with the amino acids. So this definitely... Okay, this used to be in my shelf before but now i'm going to shift it up because this no longer can stay in my keto family just because i love it but it has sugar or fructose so this goes up like with the matcha baby okay um oh yeah and don't forget to add this a little potassium this is another best friend of mine if i need to make any desserts just a couple of drops depending yeah and just like this guy, um, another lovely baby is the almond one. Oh, I'm expecting some new ones today. I can't wait to share those with you. Okay, so I have a few more things to show you and I'd like to talk about them. Maybe I can put them in another part because I don't want to make it too long, the video. And um, I'll see what kind of response I get. Okay, guys. Thank you. Have a nice day.